여기 하우스한 해충을 24시간 날개로 갈아버리는 드론이 있습니다. 비닐하우스에서 천적이 없는 나방은 작물에 엄청난 손실을 야기하는데요. 기후변화로 인해서 해를 갈수록 그 피해가 더 커질 것으로 예상이 됩니다. 땅이 건강할수록 역설적으로 하우스하는 나방같은 해충은 더 창궐하기 쉬운 조건을 만드는데요. 화학약품을 살포하지 않고 자연의 천적처럼 하우스한 드론으로 나방같은 해충만 골라서 집중 공격하는 최첨단 드론을 개발한 네덜란드 최고의 농업 AI 혁신기업 패치팀을 만나기 위해서 비농개신팀이 네덜란드 로테르담에 왔습니다. 패츠X라고 이름 지은 이 드론은 나방의 천적인 박쥐에서 아이디어를 발명했다고 하는데요. 박쥐는 초음파를 발산하고 지형 지물에서 먹잇감을 찾아내는데 이를 모방해서 드론 시스템으로 만든 것입니다. 사이즈도 손 안에 들어올 정도로 이렇게 작은데요. 사람에게도 해가 전혀 없다고 합니다. 너무 빨라서 고양이도 깜짝 놀랄 정도인데요. 커맨드 센터에 달린 스캐너처럼 패치C라는 곤충 스캐너로 탐지하면 패치X 드론이 주인이 잘 때도 잠을 자지 않고 나방 같은 해충만 걸러내서 밤이든 낮이든 해충을 갈아 없앤다고 합니다. 너무 조그매 가지고 진짜 놀랐어요. 저걸로 어떻게 잡을 수 있는 건지 싶고 Mm -hmm. you see here our, uh, our little mm -hmm. bed like drum. Mm -hmm. This system is uh, is autonomous. Mm -hmm. So it's always um, uh, sitting on a on its on its own its own charging platform. Uh, and every, every flight, the drone comes back, sits there, and waits for the next, uh, let's say, target. That it's completely controlled mm -hmm. by the by the camera system. Mm -hmm. uh, this system is, is looking in 3D, mm -hmm. looking for insects, determines if it's a bad or a good insect passing, and based on that information, um, it's tracking the insect in 3D, sends the drone to chase it, chase the insect to the air. It's always a bit messy. So now most mm -hmm. of the... Picking it up. Yeah, just, we have little space. It actually started in the middle of summer, in the middle of the night, when one of the other founders was peacefully sleeping in his bed. Mm -hmm. There's and suddenly this buzzing sound. Mm -hmm. He tried to kill it. <laughs> And you can't. Yeah, yeah. So the next day in the in the research lab, they were working on drones. The insect slowly flying, then being sucked into the propeller. You see the, the mosquito splash around in, uh, in many pieces. And that's uh, how the idea for POTS got born. Some people uh, uh, approached us and said, hey, have you thought about horticulture? There are many greenhouses here. We visited one and we were sold. We knew, okay, this is where it's going to happen. Patch가 처음 창업했을 당시에 어, 유럽에서는 유해 농약 사용에 대한 규제가 강화되는 시점이었는데요. 2022년 EU 집행위원회는 화학 농약 사용량을 2030년까지 50% 감축하겠다는 목표로 이른바 지속 가능한 농약 사용 규정 SUR을 발의하기도 했습니다. 기존 네덜란드에서는 나방을 방지하기 위해서는 유충을 선제 방제로 제거하는 방법을 사용을 했지만 남은 유충이 다시 나방이 되는 경우 어쩔 수 없이 화학 약품으로 방지하는 경우가 있었는데요. 패치엑스 드론은 화학 약품을 뿌리지 않고 알을 낳는 암컷 나방만 집중 공략할 수 있었는데 오직 8대 드론으로 약 2,990여 평의 대규모 온실을 드론 8대로 농약 없이 방지하는 효과를 냈다고 합니다. First question was like, what if they kill the people? Yeah, <laughs> actually, um, and we're definitely not a company in uh, in the domain of arms or defense. Lovely drones yeah, and, and use them for good purpose. Yeah, please, yeah, uh, yeah mm -hmm. promise. So how does that procedure work? And it starts with a few insects in your greenhouse, and it's that's manageable. But they can spread and replicate very fast. So let's say a moth replicates in five weeks. One female moth can distribute hundreds of eggs. So what you want to prevent is that female moth from distributing that because if one moth spreads 400 eggs for mm -hmm. example on the spot to control the pest to stop it in a track before the insect becomes a pest that's how we how we do it okay so you have a pet uh, c and yep. a trip pet sex so how uh, different are they so pot c yeah. is really in in the domain of monitoring larger insects mm -hmm. if we take a sample from airspace and we see okay what kind of traffic do we have we translate that to actionable insights mm -hmm. 
If you look at the drones, mm. well, those we use to, to take down the moth. The trap eye is addressing all those insects, mm. for monitoring at least, that are not visible with the PADC system. And so this thing we use for all the small insects. Think of whitefly, leaf miners. Also, some people wonder if it's also effective to the small size. Um, there is a limit to it. Mm. But moth from 8 millimeters in wingspan and up, we can address. Oh, we have okay. validated that. Okay. Anything smaller than that becomes mm -hmm. very difficult. Mm -hmm. How much area can be managed with... But if you look at the PADC system, mm -hmm. we can monitor two hectares with mm -hmm. it for a moth. You can also use it in a small, like, uh, greenhouses too? Yeah, we're already in 25 countries, mm -hmm. so it's a matter of time before we arrive in Korea. Yes. Yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah, and yeah. What, about, what about the comments? Please come bring it and please kill the wasp. Wasp, oh yeah, wasp. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so today we really talked about indoor application of mm. our solution. Yeah, they killed, yeah, they yeah. killed the bees, right? Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not, not just the bees, also attack people. Oh, yeah, it's okay, a huge yeah, yeah. problem. So, uh, and also this is like, this is the beginning of Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh no. Yeah, let's, part two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Part two. Yeah, I will yeah. be uh, happy at some day to, to ship systems to yeah. Korea, but yeah. also visit because I'm really interested how right. horticulture is doing there. And And yeah, thank you very much yeah, and you. looking forward yeah. to the end result. 지금까지 유럽 농업 AI 혁명을 이끌고 있는 패츠의 CEO 브람스 님을 만나봤습니다. 패츠엑스 드론에 대해 더 궁금한 점이 있으신 분들은요. 댓글에 남겨 주시면 브람스 님과 함께 소통해 보도록 하겠습니다. 지금까지 귀농의 신 안피디였습니다. 감사합니다.